What is going on guys? So a little while ago, if you guys follow the Patreon, you guys obviously know this whole story, but if you aren't, I'll get you up to date right now. I was heading to Anton's house and I was driving, just driving normal, everything's fine. And all of a sudden I see eight deer on the right, the right hand side of the road. So I'm like, ooh, this is a little sketchy. Let me slow down. Probably going about 25 miles per hour at this point. Turn my high beams on, making sure these deer aren't moving and gonna hop in front of me. So I'm watching on my right hand side, right? All of a sudden on the left, which is woods where I was, a huge buck just starts running out of the woods, like literally Mach 10. And the deer ended up smacking his head right here. His antler hit here and it literally slid down the whole side of the car. So obviously it was the weekend and I waited till Monday to reach out to my insurance company and we're going through it. They've obviously claimed it a non-fault because a deer running into you, there's it's kind of like an act of God or whatever. There's not really anything that you can do about that. And I've been going back and forth with them. I went to a body shop that I trust and there I'm actually going to drop it off right now. Still arguing with the insurance company. I didn't know it was so difficult to deal with insurance companies. Um, you, you think you pay them $500 a month and a deer hits your car, you're gonna be fully they covered. Wanna take care of you. They wanna take care full of you. Coverage means full coverage, mother Yeah, so that's kind of what I assumed. And I was like, I sent them everything. They got it all quoted. You know what they sent me? Like, check this out. The fender, the hood, the door. There's dents in the quarter panel. They tried to tell me that this was gonna be $2,900 in damage. I call them back and I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you guys? Like, did you forget a zero? Like, there's no way that this is gonna cost $2,900. This is before I talked to a body shop. So after that, I hit up the body shop that I trusted and I brought it there, they quoted me. And to be honest, the quote's really not that bad. I personally expected this to be anywhere from like twelve dollars to $14,000 to fix. It's only 6,900 bucks and this is from a really good body shop, like multiple people that I've known that got their cars totaled. They made them look brand new and tip top shape. They quoted me $6,900. That's for a new fender, a new door, PDR the quarter, PDR the hood, respray the fender, respray the door and call it a day. 6,900 bucks for that is awesome. So I guess my insurance company is going to go out to them. They're going to look at it again. They're going to argue with them, whatever. I don't know. I'm probably going to have to end up paying some sort of difference, which is kind of messed up because I pay good money to have full coverage, full everything on this car. Anyways, going back to the GTR, a lot of you have asked me what's going on with that. And I ain't going to lie. Like, I guess I kind of dragged ass on it just because it's a bit overwhelming for me at the time. I didn't know where I wanted to go. I was talking to this PDR guy. Our schedules just wasn't aligning up after I found this body shop and I was like, okay, let me bring this car to him too. Like, let me see what this is going to cost me. So if you guys don't remember, I dropped my car off at Auto Technic and I ended up getting it back with this huge dent in my quarter panel. I do want to make it known that Auto Technic 100% has made this right at this point. Even with me kind of doing the process a little slow, I ended up going to Australia. This was kind of on the back of my mind, but when I dropped it off at the body shop, they quoted me $3,000 to fix that. That's to pop this off. That's to blend the whole quarter panel back. That's to fix this. That's to fix the tab here and all of that. And I told Auto Technic that and they paid me no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I did want to just clear the year there. Obviously, it was unfortunate that it happened, but everyone is making the situation right and I don't want them to be in a bad spotlight because they did make it right. So with that being said, I'm gonna drive the GTR. Will's gonna drive the M2. Don't crash it. You good? Yep. <laughs> and um, we're gonna go to the body shops, drop these off, and I'm going to Drift Week anyways, and the body shop knows that. And I think these are gonna be done by the time um, we get home anyways, which would be cool. So M2, GTR are leaving us for a bit, but for good reason. Let's go. Something about just driving the GTR in the nice fall with all the leaves. It's just a vibe, dude, an absolute vibe. I will say I hate not having power steering, but when you're going straight, I'm kind of riding this guy's ass, huh? Let me, let me back away. Dang, man, I love the fall in Connecticut, dude. Absolutely love it, so good. All right, so another reason why I picked this place is all they work on is really, really expensive Porsches. So in my head, they can fix Porsches, make them look brand new. Definitely fix my GTR. They can definitely fix a new car. Everything's good, yeah? 
Yeah, I think we're definitely in the right spot. No, for sure. And our buddy David used to have an STI. Sadly, he fell asleep at the wheel a long time ago. Thing got absolutely mangled. These guys were able to fix it 100%. Dang, dude. There's so many. I'm pretty sure this is the one Spencer drove. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Spencer drove this. Damn, this one's sick. And I'm pretty sure he said he almost spun out. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because he, Jesus like, Christ. on it and, yeah, wow. she got a little, how you doing? I'm sure she it? probably got rowdy. But, all right, I'm going to go talk to him. Side note, we um, got the E34 out to play. Matt just threw a fuel pump in this. It's still super jank and everything. The goal to, is just to hear this thing run. We're putting some new gas in it and stuff. The gas is really gross in it. I mean, we drained 99% of it, but it's hard to get every last drop. But it is like brown, brownish orange. It's not good, but it's an M50. It should fire up, hopefully, with some bad gas. I swear to God, this GoPro is going to be the death of me. It's amazing every year. The GoPro gets worse instead of better. Bad gas mixed with new gas. Jumped. Ready? All right, come on, E34. Let's go. Well. Oh, there we go. This thing might blow up. Oh, it's going to start. Oh, my God. It's about to start. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. All right, let's try again. to tell when it's just open down pipe yeah. it's insanely loud it's but stupid it i mean dude it's got shit gas in it like it's got gnarly, probably got junk it needs to be romped on yeah she just needs to have an exhaust and opened up a little Italian bit tuna. so that's called that was pretty don't fill one of those race gases cans with 93. That's uh, we, 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 i don't know i think we need an exhaust yeah, it sounds well, like it's got a mean You can't try that shit. No! Oh, just two, get two pipes from fucking autos on it. Two clamps. It's not like it's straight. I wonder if we can just get like an exhaust from the junkyard or something. Why would you do that when you can go to autos and get two pipes? Get two flex pipes. Bro, hoses. I don't think yeah, it's going to work. Flex pipes. Flex pipes just out I mean, side. I guess we can do the flex pipe. I'm cool with that. Just out the side real quick. Well, she runs. You can torch the manifold. <laughs> That's not going to work. Go try it. How much do you want to bet? I want to see. Go try it. I don't want to bet. Oh, why? Because I'm curious. Actually, I'll why? get in on that Whatever bet. Whatever I want to bet you, I'll Oh, you want to bet him? Yeah, because I already, I already went through this process. Did it work? <laughs> He'll bet you how much? You don't think a torch will turn that black? Bet him. If you're so confident, bet him. 20 bucks. Do 20 bucks. Go get the torch. Look, now he's all scared. Come on, when has Devin been right? Five minutes. For him to say he's done it before, that's a little. Five minutes, go do it. Come on, just go grab it. I'm not gonna turn it black. Even those Cerakote wipes that I bought wouldn't even turn it black. What, what if it turns it black? I'll think it's- And I'm out 20 bucks, but I know it won't <laughs> turn it black. I wouldn't go so close to the injectors, but. You're burning it. You are burning it. Thank you, you owe me 20 bucks. Give me, I just had to get the distance right. It's not looking better if that's what you're saying. It's turning it more black. Not oh, yeah, really. Brown, yeah, what are you talking about? It's turning it brown. That looks like fried plastic. Oh, uh, too close there. Yeah, but it, he's fucking most of it. Yeah. It well, looks like fucking copper. The fact that it's... It looks worse than the other ones. No, it's blacker. I just said it's it would blacker. get it darker. <laughs> that's fucking copper, buddy. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> copper as fuck, bro. Right there bro. is black, right there. <laughs> yeah, the spots I burnt are a little messed up, but it did turn it blacker. Yeah, but it didn't turn it better. Hey, up. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> Throw it down in the comments. Who has to pay who? Does Will have to pay Devin? Or does Devin have to pay Will for this nonsense? All right, guys. So my buddy Mike, he is wasting no time with the blueberry. It's currently Saturday, and we're about to go check it out. He got the whole thing right aligned. Everything is looking good. So I just wanted to go over there, kind of look it over, show you guys, and to ensure you guys that the blueberry is going to come back. Yes. We have neglected it for a very long time. Yes, I did lose motivation. I understand that. But 
Honestly, I think we've been on a pretty good grind. Yeah, I think it's been solid. The 240 is looking better than it ever has. The Z is coming back stronger than ever. You'll find out in this video as well. We're gonna put the, the crown carbon overs on and I'm stoked. And we just got a part for the E30 as well. So let's help head over to Mike's shop. All right, guys, check her out. This whole thing is rhino lined looking amazing i'm super stoked on this like this thing it's actually kind of crazy because this thing has been on a lift bare metal for about seven months now and there was not one ounce or one spot of flash rust anywhere and it's kind of crazy because when i was at the shop like when it would rain we'd leave the door open like moisture and everything like we picked this thing up we put it in the trailer like it sat in there for about a couple weeks and the fact that this thing just had no rust no anything is pretty interesting i guess i don't really know I, I don't know how that happens but this thing is all raptor lines now all in the front everything is good so we're gonna let this thing dry and we have to go back to the shop put together the subframe and when this thing's dry we'll pop the subframes in this thing will officially be a roller we can bring it back to the shop tear out the engine bay and before we leave for drift week texas we can bring it back here and the engine bay can get sprayed which i'm super pumped about also i can't believe i didn't even point this out look at how this thing is strapped up it's actually sick dang this is wild i mean i guess it makes it super easy to spray under here without a lift and everything and it's cool because the lift arms aren't in your way or anything it's honestly kind of perfect all right so we just got the bushings in the lower control arms we got the subframe out um i already made the mistake building this roadster once my white one i powder coated a left-hand drive subframe this time we got the correct subframe so we're good matt's over there cleaning the power steering rack just so everything is nice and clean to the touch we're gonna get this together and we already have the rear subframe we just have to get it out of the unit we'll be ready to make this thing a roller all right guys so i just got done with putting the front subframe together um we don't have lower ball joints right now so i just ordered those those are going to be here tomorrow we also don't have front hubs i'm pretty sure i actually ordered brand new hubs for this i just need to find them I, we have a storage container full of crap and it's just kind of a nightmare right now but regardless we're gonna be finding them soon anyways but this is all together we got this all zinc coated all um powder coated we just got these arms back from dan the turnaround time with dan is amazing matt cleaned the power steering rack got our little zinc plated brackets right here everything is good to go now if you come over here this is this fun stuff so we got these from crown carbon and i told you guys i really want to start making the z mint and the quarter panels are just beyond repair these guys they make some cool this isn't sponsored by the way but it's just a cool design um they make these cool like over fenders that don't really kick out the rear anymore it's just kind of it's literally just a panel to hide your fuck ups so i'm all i'm trying to do is hide my fuck ups except this fuck up i did this the other night i was feeling ambitious i was like you know what i wasn't even filming i was just like i'm just in a good mood i'm hyper i want to like work and i was rushing and i put the riv nut in to here instead of the car so we're gonna just rivet the whole thing now because i already screwed this i had two options to drill this out or just riv nut this whole side i'm just gonna riv nut both or ri i'm sorry i keep saying rivet riv nut i'm just gonna rivet both sides and let's be honest this thing is gonna be crashed again the only thing i'm gonna have to do is just drill this out and it'll be good so we're just gonna drill this side get this to how i want it and this thing is going straight to paint monday morning very excited for that and this will be one color by the time we get back from drift week so let's start drilling oh, i'm going right through someone's signature i'm sorry pal Ooh. okay we're through now whatever it went through step up we'll be good to go good old harbor freight riv riv gun put her in find the hole bump her up until she snaps Nice. That ain't going anywhere. I actually really like rivets. This is my first time actually using rivets, not riv nuts. Measuring 14 and a half. half. Trying to do this legit. 14 and a half. Oh, that wasn't legit, was it? So we got 14 and a half. Let's call it seven and a quarter, huh? So we're gonna call it right, right there. That's where we're going. I move my finger. Here, put your finger at seven and a quarter. We could just mark it, but who needs that? Keep your finger there while I drill it. Good enough to eyeball. I will say, I have Mako drill bits in DeWalt drill bits shit on my Mako ones. I spent 360 on the Mako truck. Devin spent $30 on these and they rip. My Mako ones suck. I'm actually kind of pissed about it. So on this channel, I like to show you 100% transparency. 
So we show you all our mess ups, whether they're dumb or not. So um, behind this crown carbon over, we got a huge dent right here and you can't get any rivets in there. I tried to drill it, we tried to like push it, but the rivets, they're too small to actually get like past the dent to, into the metal. So these are kind of just for show, but I think we're just gonna double side tape it. I mean, realistically, like this is gonna crash again. We're gonna have to order these again. So it's not the end of the world, but like this thing is on there. This thing's ready to go. We're gonna do the other side now and she'll be a new car again, really. We got a new front bumper. New doors, had a new fender, but it's dented again. New skirts. New skirts-ish. Yeah. They're, they're bad again. <laughs> new and then, oh yeah, new back bumper. No one messed up the bumper yet. That's good. And then we got new overs and then paint. We still haven't figured out a team paint job. Patreon has spoken and that's the color you want, but I'm yeah. doing that color for another car. Yeah. Sorry, bud. We'll figure it out. Shout out to all the guys that signed this. You are gonna be hidden, but not forgotten. So remember, if you guys are on the quarter panel, you're still there. We're just hiding you for a little bit. That's all. We're gonna line this thing up, taper down, and riv nut this thing in. Rivet it. I'm so used to riv nuts. Rivet. Matt is dying right now. Yeah. This dude is moping around the shop. Cause why? Tell no, him why. Not moping. Tell him I'm why. Just trying to expedite. He's like, all right, things. man. This is done. Let's let's film the clip. Let's go. What do you want to do? I want to go play Call of Duty. One more for two, two. You know what his um phone or his no or his name in my phone is? Matt Cod. Because I met him through Call of Duty, pretty much. Man, dude. It's so, our heritage. How we go yeah, back. We're trying to live up to it. But <laughs> we got the overfender here. It looks good. We even did like all of the ones that we messed up down there, but these kind of actually work because there's not a dent in this quarter panel. But overall, I mean, the Z's done. I mean, it's white, it's silver, it's gray, it's black. It's a lot of different colors, but we're going to go drop it off my friend Mike's house. He's going to get this thing scuffed up, painted, and this thing's going to be a, a pretty solid drift car. Like, I'm actually really excited to just see this thing like in one piece again because it's kind of crazy. I got this car back in December. Yeah. It hasn't even been a year and I've totaled it more than once. Yeah, it's been hit. You, you dent a quarter panel on like that, it's written off. Yeah. You know? Then again, my M2 has got a dent in the quarter panel too, but is it written off? I guess we'll find out when it comes back from the body shop. You guys like this video? <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. You guys want to subscribe for more? Subscribe for more. Sorry for the abrupt ending, but our buddy Matt needs um play some oh, Call don't, of Duty. Don't He's blame that on me. Duty, so. Don't blame that on Sorry. Me. Sorry, guys. We'll see you guys in the next we, one. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>